Hey guys, I've had a few people ask me if I could show how to do the more fussy cut around the letters to put the name over top of the word like mom. Now I already went over in my other video that the font is I Love Glitter and how to download it and get it into Cricut Design Space. So I'm not gonna go over that again now. What I did was I got the wording how I wanted it, I welded it together and this part took some doing to figure out but once you figure out how to do it, it's not a big deal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the mom so that you can't see it and then I'm gonna click on this is the one I have. I'm going to click on the scissors here under the word that I want to cut out and have knocked out of the letter. Okay, and you see where it says cut up here. What we're going to do is go over to click print. Go back over. As long as you have the printer icon there, you're good. We're going to click make it. We're not going to actually make it but you are gonna need to turn on your Cricut to kind of fool the system. You can probably hear mine running in the background now. It's right next to the desk. All right, click continue. We're gonna click send a printer. And when we get this preview here, you see how this says bleed. We click off of that and it's really thin fine text, but we click on it and it kind of goes over. We want that on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, save image as whatever you wanna save it as and make sure you save it as a PNG file. Now we're gonna exit out of this, cancel the print. Yes, I wanna cancel the cut. We're gonna close out of that. Now we're gonna change this back from print to cut. We're gonna turn the mom back on. And what we need to do now is go to upload, upload image, browse. Then you have to find the file and where you saved it. I just did it so I remember perfectly where I had it. Okay, we're gonna click simple because it's got high contrast. It's a PNG file, no big deal. Zoom in about a thousand times, just however much is comfortable for you really. And you can either do erase or crop, but I don't need all this extra space. So I'm just gonna do crop. And you wanna make sure that you do not get the black bar edges. You just want the cursive writing. All right, now we're gonna continue, save as a cut image, call it whatever you want. And now we can just click that insert image and you can see it kind of looks like oh my gosh what is this mess but we'll just play with it we'll get it how we want it resize it and what you've got to do is take this over to the letters you already have you want to get them about the same length as best you can sort of size and center it and do all that i'm going to move this back just so i can see how it all fits in there and okay now i see that my text fits in there pretty good might bring that up just a bit more. So I'm working with eyes and eyes are always difficult. Okay, that looks like it's got the entire text in there. So we'll move the name. What we're gonna do next is take the blurry text that you can't read. We're gonna hold it over top of the mom and we actually need to bring that forward again. Ah, move to front. All right, so now we've got this kind of in the middle here. It's still really hard to see. So what I am gonna do is actually change the color and we'll just do cactus pink just so we can see it really clear and contrasty here. All right, so how do you want it? That's up to you to figure out. You can keep playing with the size. When you're confident with everything, what I would recommend to do is you select your blurry letters hit shift, select the word you want to slice it out of, then click up here at align and you wanna align horizontally and you can try to align vertically, but it might put it up higher than you want. So I don't like that as much. I'm gonna move that down. And now with both the mom and the blurry letter selected and make sure again, the blurry letters are on top, hit slice. All right, so now I've got this chunk taken out and well, mom decided to move instead of the blurry letter. So we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. Now we've got this whole blurry letters, looks like a mess, right? Well, that's where you're gonna put your word. And you will have to play with it a little bit to get it all shaped up and in there the way you want. Might have to adjust the size just a tad here and there. But overall, that looks pretty good. Uh, now you have one of two options that you can do. If you want those in different colors, what you can do is just select, you can make this any color. And then when you go to click make it, See, it's gonna show the mom in the black and it's gonna show the Kyrie in the peachy color. And of course you don't have to use that color. You can slap on any color of vinyl you want. The machine doesn't know the difference. But if I wanted that to all be just one color, if that's how I wanted it to print, you just hit shift, weld, and make it. 
and you can see that it will print just like that and easy peasy. Like I said, it's a little weird to figure it out, but after you do, it's really easy. So I hope that's been helpful. Let me know what else you need to figure out in the future, and I will do the best I can to get a tutorial up for you. Thanks for watching.